What's up? It's Kainu with Kainu Tech. Today, I'm going to show you how to check why your computer crashed in Windows 11. So well, let's hop into it. All right, now that we're hopping into it, first recommendation would be to go to Event Viewer. You're going to come down here to the Windows search bar and type in Event Viewer. Once you have Event Viewer open, it may take a few seconds to open, by the way. You're going to come over here to Windows Log and you're going to drop it down and then click on System. This is going to show you everything that has happened on your computer, whether it's just regular information, some critical events, some errors, it depends, but you can actually filter it. So what you do, you come over here to system, you right click, click on filter current log. Uh, I'm leaving it on anytime because I haven't really had any errors or critical events happen in the past few days other than maybe uh, my power outage might be on here but all you have to do is click on critical and error and then if your, uh, your crash happened recently like within the last hour click on last hour if it happened in the last 12 hours click on last 12 hours boom you come down here to OK you click OK and then you see your events so I have a critical that happened uh, this system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down first. This error could be caused by system stop responding crash or lost power. So this was my power outage. And this, my uh, event viewer is telling me exactly why my computer crashed. And that's awesome. So your error will probably be somewhere up here at the top. It'll either be error. It'll either be listed as an error or a critical. And it's going to tell you what's wrong with it. Uh, either in an error code or it'll tell you actually what happened with your computer. So for example, in this error uh, with my Windows update, it's telling me with an error code. So what I would do, I would copy this error code and then I would take it to Google and I would Google what's happening. So let's go ahead and show you an example of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it, click Control C, open up a Google window and drag it over right here and I'm gonna click control V boom all right so I would recommend sticking with the microsoft.com answers only but right here we have a microsoft.com answer top of the list I'm gonna click on it so getting error code 73d02 when installing an update from Windows Store okay so let's look for the answer Okay. Hi, Barry. Thank you for being a part of the Windows 10 technical preview. I also appreciate you for providing the screenshot and the issue. It says to check, check the suggestions from this link. Okay. We're going to open this link. And this is our answer that we're looking for. In build 9926, the store does not support manual updates of the app. So we recommend that you do not turn off automatic updates while going through setup screens when installing Windows Technical Preview. If you do, you'll be unable to uh, update apps and if the store app itself requires an update. Okay, so we found our answer to why we can't install the update. But this is the same way that you would go about it if your computer crashed and you're trying to figure out why it crashed. Okay, let's say you got the blue screen of death and you go into the event viewer and you see a critical right here, similar to what I, to what I have. It may tell you what's wrong with it, but if it doesn't, go ahead and copy that critical event in the, de in the details down here and then take it over to Google google it and then you'll know what's wrong with your computer whether it's ram whether it's your motherboard whether it's a bios update it could be network issues it could be anything it just depends just take it over to google google it and then you'll know exactly what's wrong with your computer all right boys that wraps up this video if you enjoyed it drop a like down below and make sure you subscribe and don't forget take it easy